many of Seastat just scream out obnoxiously the <laughs> words, he's climbing. Yeah. I wish we could have heard that, you know? So, obviously, you know, you know I'm, I'm going to go, go yell at all the Seastat people after this. I'm like, it doesn't matter if it's Hero. It's just a single climber. Think about it, right? Like... But still, lots of really good, uh, really good talent here. Uh, we are, you know, we already hear people getting their tags in as well. So we have some more people uh, just available as well. Uh, we have some matches queued up for stream as well, which would be really cool. I don't know if this one's the one that's going to come next. Uh, we have risking our belts as well coming up. Uh, so definitely a treat for us. Uh, obviously, if you guys are watching at home, uh, you know, exclamation point bracket, probably be able to pull up the bracket right there. A uh, couple crazy things though. Oh, uh, we Malachi, are getting Ruskin or yeah. Delta. Malachi taking a 3-2 three, three, over Dave. That was okay. round two. That was winner's round two. That's Grant at a local, dude. <laughs> like, that's crazy to think about. Yeah. So, uh, shouts to Malachi. Obviously, definitely been uh, been on a tear as well. You know, definitely leveling, leveling up a ton. And, you know... Um, you know, Dave, definitely very strong player in, the, in his own right as well. So uh, definitely no surprises there. Yeah. But as for this match, probably going to get Ness and Mega Man. Uh, it's going to be a fun one. I think both of these players uh, do some fun stuff. So uh, would not be surprised if we get one or two clips uh, come up in this match. And I'm excited to see this one. Yeah, me too. I'm definitely very excited to see this one. Uh, obviously, um, you know, Ruski Nerd is a is, is up in DFW, you know, from Tri-State, living in Austin for school, and then moving to DFW, I assume, for work. Um, definitely has a lot of experience uh, against Mega Man. Yeah. Uh, obviously, in Austin, you know, plays Walt, played Waltz probably yep. quite a handful. Uh, and then in DFW, uh, there's Kappus, uh, Pete Bro. Uh, some other Mega Man's probably that I'm forgetting. If I'm forgetting, I think you might be uh, a Mega Man up there yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, uh, sure. So, you know, definitely a lot of experience on these. And Delta, obviously, having a ton of EBK experience EBK, here, yep. probably too. I'm not sure what their set record is, but I assume they've got to play it at least once. So, you know, uh, Ness is another character that is not uncommon. It's not like meta defining, but definitely not an uncommon character, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Just queue up Elite Smash, you'll find one. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to Elite Smash. Let's get it. But yeah, this will be really nice. Belta kind of been uh, on a tear. You know, definitely one of when when playing consistent, you know, is a very very formidable opponent. So we just gotta yep. see more of that, right? Yeah, has a ledge trap situation going, and yeah, Ruskinor just gonna force his way out. Obviously, Ness has great air acceleration, and you have to be careful when you're ledge trapping the character for that reason. He can go really far with his hitboxes, and so sometimes you have to respect that space a little bit when you're ledge trapping him, and. Uh, Ooh, okay, yeah, nice. We'll see how Velta tries to tackle this. Oh, and that, barely whiffs. That air drift, though, making it so hard for you to commit to a move because, you know, you might just slip through the cracks and get away for free. So that's exactly what we saw right there. So, you know, Ruski and Ern able to live on just a little bit longer. Uh, back airs off the ledge. Rage back throw can kill Mega Man as well. You know, even with how, you know, it might be a little... Sometimes I feel like it's really heavy, fake heavy, whatever, but definitely not going to do that yo-yo right there. Yeah, and that's tough too because Mega Man doesn't really have a hitbox on the way up. I guess you have to cover it beforehand as nice ledge trumpet to back air, but uh, you probably have to cover it beforehand with like a crash bomber, right? Or maybe a metal blade. Um, but once you get down low, it, it just seems tough to, to avoid as now Velta, okay, has something going. Yeah, even the even the very edge of that leaf shield able to clip Ness's head, right? That That's a really good like Positioning that leaf shield like in short hop range is so good because it could just cover you know pretty much any escape options, forcing you to either sit and shield or take the hit. Right? Yeah. So, so far, so good though. I mean, pretty back and forth just even throughout. Definitely not um, not something you weren't expecting, right? Uh, for sure. You know, this set potentially could be in there for the long haul. A little bit aggressive right there, or just a little bit of a panic option. Able to get through. Good air dodge. And now Velta with a lead, but the Ruski nerd, the Ruski loops going crazy. <laughs> yeah. Does end up dropping it, unfortunately. But oh, yeah. Had a setup going uh, with the PK Thunder. Just not quite able to convert that. But uh, yeah, Velta. I think he's going to just be content to nickel and dime, run away, right, throw your projectiles, make it difficult for Ness to get in. But Ruski taking advantage of that and actually converting it into corner pressure. That's such a strong option as well, and Ruski did a really great job of that. Delta does manage to reverse the situation, though. Now we have an edge guard situation. 
Oh, but Ooh. the grab just whips. That would have been just a run it back, wishy washy, you know, just do it again at the ledge with the edge guard. But now resetting the situation. Uh, gonna lose, uh, gonna lose uh, the second stock to the F, the up smash. Still not out of the realm of possibilities. Still looking pretty good. Belton just kind of continues all of that, but, you know, all the magic that we saw that second stock. You can see, you know, the the game easily be taken here. But can we find something here? These people are gonna try to live right here. The back here, not gonna do it just yet. Gets a two count. This is a nice setup right there. If it clips, then it confirms into that down yep. two. So that's a really, really good setup for Mega Man. Yeah, Velta didn't convert it, but still sitting pretty comfortable here. Gonna find the Metal Blade into the back area. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the Mega Man classic. Yeah, we just got a lot louder in here, I think, right? I think we did. <laughs> Yo, if anyone's in the crowd, just let us know. Let us know if you can hear us. So, but oh, there you go. There you go. There's one. Thank you. Whoever you were, I love you. Okay, I'm just letting you know right now. So, <laughs> but definitely really strong start uh, right there from Delta. Definitely looking pretty good. So, uh, Risky not too far behind though, right? Yeah. Like it felt like there were situations that he was able to slip through. We we talked about the air drift earlier, right? Yeah. There was like that awkward situation at the ledge where he just slipped through the crack yes. and able to live just a little bit longer. Velta though, you know, able to take that lead early on, never really let it go. So uh, maybe we can see lightning strike twice game two. Maybe we'll see that once again, or Ruskin are maybe making some changes. Yeah, and it really felt too like uh, when Velta took the lead, he was content to sort of sit back a little bit more. Just okay. Oh my God! <laughs> good, please no. <laughs> that would have been so yeah. sad. Okay, Rusky Nerd has some offense going at the ledge, but gonna get reversed again. And yeah, that leaf shield is such an oppressive move, especially in the corner. Not as many places where you can go. You just get caught by it. But hey, that F smash coming through. Yeah, it feels like that was just like a swing for the fences. Like, maybe it'll work, and it actually did. It, it was did, a good yeah. get off you tool for sure. That back throw, though, not going to kill just yet, but definitely going to put you far enough to get into an edge guard sequence. and going to lose that stock right there. Really, uh, really good awareness right there. Good opening for Rusky Nerd. Yeah, for sure. Back to neutral. And now, Rusky Nerd playing with the lead for the first time, really, in this set, I believe. So it's going to be interesting to see how he approaches that versus how Velta did. Uh, so far, Velta, though has a potential edge guard opportunity, hasn't quite been able to land that down air yet. You have to imagine though, it's only a matter of time before he finds a setup or he finds the timing, right? Going for a setup right there, yeah, there forces is. the high recovery because of the crash bomb and then snipes it out with the back air. Yeah, also had the Metal Blade in hand too, so yep. it was just more of like a jump throw it, just to like get off me, right? And Delta able to, you know, kind of just be in the right position where he could just slip that back air in and able to still get it. Uh, definitely percent deficit right here, but not stocks for sure. So definitely still super doable. Good tech right there. Obviously, if you miss that tech or you tech out, you are going to get you're gonna get a lot of damage out of that PK fire too, so. Yeah, that time Ruskin are actually being able to, one, get the yo-yo, right? Like we talked about the yo-yo and... The, the lack of a hitbox on that upbeat being a factor in, in getting hit by it. But also, uh, he was able to hit through the leaf shield landing earlier too. That was like pretty impressive, right? Like obviously Ness has some really strong hitboxes and Ruskin Nerd showing that in that situation. Yeah, definitely showing that right there for sure. Looking pretty good. Uh, regardless, Nolta still bringing this back slowly but surely, right? Still looking pretty good, but Ruskin are answering right back with just a fair train across stage and the PK fire setting up something right here. A jump, you gotta yeah. be careful Forces here. Low. Yep. Oh, and it feels like it feels like if Ruskin Nerd can force Velta to go low, that's really where he gets his kills, right? Like obviously he got the couple of yo-yos, uh, b both in game one and obviously in uh, that second stock. But uh, that time too with the down air, uh, you know, figuring that Velta was gonna up be a little bit early instead and. He just caught it. And so, yeah, that, that was, I think, really the factor. Just, I think the edge guards were the way he killed pretty much all three stocks that game, too. So, uh, Ruskiner uh, doing well for himself there. On to this game three. Once again, putting Velta to the corner. Uh, yeah, I think, I think, really, it comes down to. Uh, if Ruskinerd at these sort of 50, 60 ish percents can get Velta to the corner, get him off stage, um, he may not kill like immediately, but uh, that's really where you, you, you'll do the most damage and uh, where he has done the most damage, especially in that game, too. 
86% now on Velta is going to get back here. Yeah, it's these types of situations right here where you force Velta to go low. Fortunately for Velta, he's able to make it out of that situation without too much of a hassle, but those were the situations that won Ruskiner at the game too. Yeah, definitely situations that won in the game too right there. And that's the situation as well. We saw, you know, uh, the missed tech right there. It, you know, you can't eat that F-Smash and you can be, you know, it can be a little scary to deal with. But regardless right now, Velta's still pushing on and despite a really strong start from Ruski Nerd. Uh, smart, smart man right there. Don't jump after those up, uh, after those up airs. Oh, uh, able to make it back, unfortunately. Tried to use this. It's a really strong air dodge. It's such good air mobility to get from point A to point B from off stage to the ledge. Not able to make it back, barely missing it by an inch. And if you give Elta an inch, it'll give you a mile, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Delta now playing with the lead again, right? Similar to game one, but actually great answer from Ruskiner. Uh, Delta doing some of those neutral airs a little bit too close, and Ruskiner going to take advantage. Gets another edge guard opportunity. You're not quite at percents where it's going to kill. Yeah, but uh, nice reversal by Velta. Yeah, definitely good reversal so far. Uh, still looking pretty good. I mean, this is kind of very similar to game two, right? Very, very nice. I mean, game one as well, very nice. And even really nice stuff right there to stuff out. You saw that immediate, you saw that PK rocket was coming yeah. right to Velta. Definitely doing the right options to stop it right here. And now we go back to the situation where, oh, that was really good too. Unfortunately, not able to get the strong hit and can't get the kill. Regardless though, Eve Shield trying to get something off of you. Yeah, really smart stuff. Sometimes we see Ruskiner charge that. Yeah. Maybe waiting for the delayed up B and then maybe an air dodge right there. Unfortunately, gonna get caught out though. Get stuff there. Yeah. Ruskiner and another lead. Velta's still not too far behind, right? Uh, Ruskiner definitely picking up the pace a little bit though. Yeah, I, this is an important edge guard situation, but once again, those hitboxes, so great at covering his recovery and even his ways to get back on, on stage. And oh, yeah, nice. That Metal Blade combo is going to take out Rusky Stark. I think that's the first time we see Velta uh, get a Metal Blade combo into Up Smash. So uh, coming at an opportune moment for sure, evening out this game. Obviously, Game 3 is always very pivotal. So this really, I mean, in some ways could be the stock that ends up ultimately deciding the set in some ways. Absolutely. I mean, that's the flex game, right? Yes. That's like, you know, if you're able to take game number three, oh my goodness, run it back. Oh, unfortunate. Not able to work out right there. But yes, if you take this game three, that sets you up huge for game four. And then potentially game five, you have stage count to advantage. So yeah. uh, that could potentially be the difference maker here. But so far, can we see Velta close this out? Gets the metal blade into the back here. Super, super close. The setup right there. Good delay from Ruski. Let's jump. No one home, though. That being said, Velta sitting at center stage. But Ruski playing aggressively. Okay, yeah, I think you take that trade for sure. Obviously, you get hit by the Metal Blade, but at least the PK Fire stops Velta from doing too much damage. And oh, yeah, that was a nice bait by Velta running off stage to bait the potential or to threaten the potential ledge trump and jumping right back on, right? Um, so that was super smart from Velta's part. I think, yeah, no, for sure. It, it feels like from games two, games three, Really, where Rusky Nerd was, was winning is in those edge guard situations. If you take away some of Velta's resources and he has to recover low, then it's just a mix up between whether he's going to go to ledge or whether he's going to upbeat early and try to recover high, right? And if you go low, obviously you're dying to that yo yo very often. And then if you go high, Rusky's shown the, uh, the ability to punish that as well. And that's sort of been the mix up. And if Rusky can set up those situations, I think that's how he wins the set. Yeah, definitely can, you know, there's there's win cons on both sides, right? That's like the big thing. This set is far from over. Obviously, yeah. we saw that set so close. And, you know, obviously, Velta did take a lead at the end of that game three. But we saw Ruski Nerd definitely bring it all the way back with that move specifically right there. The PK Fire able to set up, you know, it stalls you, does a lot of damage. It puts you in one spot so you can find follow-ups, especially if you do it from far away enough, too. So definitely it's a scary situation. And we saw that downer right there. Obviously, not trying to get the kill more, so trying to get damage get a reset and maybe some combos right you know I've, you know you see the Velta montage right it's it's real trust me guys <laughs> it's saucy for sure finds the up smash though gets a two count though not gonna be the stock just yet yeah not quite Ooh, gonna get caught on that platform the crash bomber yeah just gonna be able to alleviate the pressure even though it doesn't hit it forced him to drift back and air, air dodge so that means you're not throwing out hitboxes as nest that's definitely a positive for Velta and Velta manages to get back to center now Pressuring this platform. 
Oh, smart stuff right there. Unfortunately, oh, good stuff with the Metal Blade. Stuffing out the back here. That shield is really low. Got to be really careful here. So yeah. far, though, you got to watch where you're landing. And we are able to strike first in this game number four. Kind of needs it, especially being down 2-1. But up smash, bring it right here, my friend. We are back to even Stevens right here. Just, you know, every game has been so close. Uh, very tight set between these two competitors. I mean, this is uh, really nice to see. This is uh, Houston versus basically DFW at this point now. So, yeah. uh, you know, this is a uh, you know inner inner Texas matchup that you know it, it's been pretty fun to see so far. Though Muskiner trying to find something here though. Yeah, smart stuff. Not getting super antsy uh, right there with the get up attack. Able to just hold ledge. Yeah, gonna find the jab here and Delta fights back with the leaf shield. Yeah, and Felta looking pretty confident in this ledge trap scenario. Uh, that leaf shield really finding value off of that uh, ledge trap sequence. There have been a couple times where Risky was able to hit through it earlier, but not quite in that situation. And now uh, it is a percent lead. It's not super, you know, commanding or anything like that, but I, relatively comfortable, I would say. What a recovery, my goodness. Oh, my God. That was a... Crazy bounce. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it was calculated or kind of an accident or if the downer had any factor with it, but that was so good because you were able to just run it right back. But the F smash right there, able to find it. And like you said, you know, no lead is safe in this match right here, especially between these two. Uh, but this, this, you know, pretty sizable for the first time so far. Everything has been column response immediately. This is a pretty significant lead. Can we find something right here? No, and that's an unteckable, unfortunate, not able to get it done, but still having that stock lead, that percent lead right now at this point. Can you close it out of your belt? Looking pretty good at 90 good air dodge that saved your life potentially. Yeah, Velta. Oh, nice reversal. He got caught running a little bit too far in on that ledge trap, and now Ruski's got 40%. At, at least you avoid the PK Thunder too, but yeah, good upbeat to just get out of the way, avoid any potential landing traps. But you're at the corner. Ness at the corner can be oppressive. Yeah, hitting through the leaf shield once again. Good recovery though. Yeah, good recovery right now. And now it's back to even Stevens. Grabs doesn't commit to the F-tilt right there, right? That could have been potentially the kill, but if you miss it, then that would have definitely been your stock. So that yeah, would be super just careful play it here. safe. Set up another ledge trap. But right now, Risky's got him at the corner. Nice rollout, no but un way. he lives, though. He's still alive. <laughs> this is so tense. Yeah, back to neutral. Back to the corner, though. Good roll away. Risky not ro quite ready to cover it. Yes. Oh, just finds the nair right there. That was almost a crazy way of losing her, taking that one back, forcing it to a game five. As Joey would say, hot set alert. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, this is game number five. Yeah, it's, it's just really interesting to see how the, the edge guard sequences have sort of played out throughout the uh, throughout the set. And there, once again, calling out the high recovery, right? Like, that's the mix up. If Velta is starting to drift low, is he going to go high or is he going to go to ledge, right? In that situation, Ruski called out that he was going to go high and got the kill. Yeah, definitely get the kill right there. I mean, this is a game five set with the two very formidable Texas players. Definitely no slouch, either one of them. Here we go, though. This one's going to be the decider. This is round two, man. Just, just in case you guys don't understand <laughs> how stacked this tournament is. This is like, these guys are both one seeds in pools at a regional here in Texas. But the fact that we are here and, and this is round two just goes to show how much talent there is here today. So uh, good start right now from Delta, though. Ruskina responding accordingly. Just going to keep going back and forth and seeing what the plan is right here. Uh, no huge, like, plays from either one to take, like, a giant lead in this set so far. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Delta has been the one to be pretty comfortable so far in this game one. We saw... One reversal on, on uh, Risky Nerd's part, which is where most of its percent has come from. But uh, by and large, I would say it has been Velta's Game 5 thus far. That being said, no lead is safe as we've seen in this set uh, in the previous game, right? So uh, by any means, uh, I mean, this is pretty st even still, you know? Yeah, still even for sure. I mean, that's kind of the name of the game pretty much, you know, from here on out. Uh, oh, but a little bit aggressive with the dash attack. Does get the PK fire, but not going to get anything anything big off of that right now, though. Delta's can make it back. Get up attack. No, able to just roll through it. Really smart stuff. Your jump clip. Nice job, though. yeah, protecting himself. And, I mean, 
it really does feel like, oh, wow. Yeah, great placement or positioning, rather, from Ruskiner's part. But it really feels like Velta hasn't been able to get these edge guards, and Ruski's just been able to protect his uh, his recoveries really well with, with those nest hitboxes, right? But once again, over a long set, you imagine that at some point you're going to get one. And oh. yeah, I mean, that time it wasn't quite an edge guard, quote unquote, but it really was a forced SD, right, on, on Velta's part. So good stuff to him. Yeah, yeah, you set up you set up the downer right there, so you force maybe, you know, maybe getting the PK bounce, uh, yeah. the bounce off of the PK Thunder, uh, but not able to actually get anything, uh, you know, uh, super great after that, unfortunately, like you said, sort of a force SD, but still, obviously, not out of the run possibilities for either player. The first time he rolls in, the whole set. That was crazy awareness. Oh. Good air dodge to make it back, though. And that's not what's going to do it. Yeah, and... Uh this is a pretty commanding lead so far for Ruskinerd. Of course, Velt is still very much in this, but one of the bigger leads that we've seen, I think, so far in this set, which has been pretty close overall. Yeah, definitely close overall for sure. Right now, though, Velta's winner's life on the line right here. Can Ruskinerd capitalize, or are we going to get a last stock game five scenario here? So many answers about to be answered right in front of us. Offstage situation again. You're not quite at kill percent yet, so it's not as threatening. Delta, ooh, just unfortunately going to lose that interaction, and he's still still looking relatively confident. If you can take this stock, oh, but now you're you're getting edge guarded. Yeah, Rusky looking to cover the high recovery. I, I think it was worth it, right? Like just in case he does it, uh, big reward. You're still relatively safe, but Delta still not able to get these edge guards. Still bringing it back though, potentially here. Can you find something? No, this gets the stall. Not gonna get the kill here though. Fair from Center Saint, not gonna do it. Ledge Fair might actually kill here. Uh, back here as well, obviously you have, you know, a couple tools at your arsenal available here. Yes, right there, gonna clip, and 75% is no slouch. You've seen the Velta clips, and you hear Houston go crazy for their boy. Uh, you know, this is a, this is a uh, defend the land situation right here, if you can close this out, but. You know, Ruskiner having a sizable lead. Will it be enough to capitalize right here? Oh, nice recovery by Velta. Rusky looking for something a little bit more aggressive on that recovery. But yeah, oh, barely sneaks past. Can you convert off of this opportunity? Oh, no. He was positioned the wrong way, unfortunately. Yeah, this is so scary, though. Can you find something? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's got a reset right there. Just take another chance to try to get in here. Ruskin hurts so close to closing this out. Delta back throw. Can we find something early here? That would be one way to close it out potentially. Yeah, I don't think you need it, right? 50, 60%. You're getting close to kill percent. Oh! That was a grab. Creates the jump though, and that's going to be it. Ruskin taking it 3 2 over Velta. Super close set. Unfortunately, right there, Ruskin is going to take it. But was looking really strong though, uh, pretty much the whole time right there. Uh, you know, it was just neck and neck, back and forth set. Uh, really cool to see. You know, uh, if you're a Houston fan, a little sad, but obviously Veltz is one of those players that can make that losers run. So uh, definitely no slouch. Uh, Ruskin are moving on though. Um, at this point, if that was round two, I'm assuming the next round is like, okay, here's the top player, right? Like that's yeah. that's just kind of how uh, this tournament works. So uh, definitely um, lots of 